How's it going guys? Butters Bridge here and welcome to a Christmassy episode of my Bronze to Riches series. Um, as you can see, I'm just short of the 270k mark, which is uh, absolutely brilliant. I uh, did a lot better than I was expecting uh, from the last episode. And the main reason was I sold a couple of the squad fitnesses. They, all, they went for 2k each and obviously all the uh, player fitnesses, they all went for 300. Uh, and these are the guys which I had left, uh, I'll just show you, which I saved. Uh, Sam Allardyce went for 1k, which was nice. Um, Odebay went for 500 coins, that's not too bad. Uh, Turner went for 750, the only uh, rare silver I had. And Benny went for 500. So yeah, I've sold pretty much everything else. The only thing I've got left is that one contract. So I'll just stick that back up. And we're going to go straight on to open some more packs. And let's see if we can get lucky. As it is Christmas Day, Christmas Day night. Um, you'll be watching this on Boxing Day, but this is Christmas Day night. Uh, I've just decided I thought before I go to bed I'll record a few episodes. So here's the first guy. I didn't really. Ol Olvius, or something like that, it looked like. Olivas. Um, not a bad. Right back. Two rare players to start off with, that's not bad. If we can keep getting the rare players, I think uh, we'll be definitely on for some some profit. Three contracts and two player fitnesses, that's absolutely belting start. Um, and there you go. Add anything to discard in that pack. A really good first pack. Let's see if we can continue. The look and twist it to make it a little bit better. Toth is next. He looked like he was a rare, and he's not too bad. Shame he's only two star skills. That might mean he's not worth as much as I was expecting, but I'll stick him up as always. 150 star price, 500 bin. Let's see how we get. So there we go, and we're going to open another pack. And this one has got Olmo. Recognise that name, I think, from somewhere. Ah, he's a centre back, Spanish centre back. That might be why. 78 heading, pretty good stats. That. Um, I'll have a research of his price later to see how much he's worth. As always, a nice few contracts and a nice uh, all attribute card as well. As I said, I'm not going to save any of the balls anymore. They don't seem to sell for 150 coins, so there's that many on the market, I think. Anyway, we're moving on to another pack, and we have got Letch Smith or something like that, like. Don't think he's rare though, so I'm not going to be interested in him. But we have got lovely consumables again. Two contracts, a player fitness, and two squad morales. Excellent pack. Uh, nothing else to save, so we discard that again. Profit off every pack so far, I think, which is always good. Let's see if we can keep it up. Graham. Now, which Graham's this? It's a Graham with 82 pace, and he's got three star skills. Might be worth a bit, but more importantly, I've just noticed another squad fitness. There we go, more coins. I think at the moment they're going for about 1.8k. Uh, they go for more on a weekend. I just think there's more people probably on, but you never know. With it being Christmas, they still might. The price might uh, creep up. Bernard is the next guy. Was he here? silver? He is. It's a shame he's a non-rare though. I don't think he's going to be worth much. And the only thing we got from that pack is a couple. Contracts. I don't think anything else is worth anything, but 205 coins for discard. It's not too bad. Now move swiftly on to another pack. Scholas, was that or something? Scholas? Whatever his name is, he's got decentish stats. Could be worth a few coins. Let's add this rare coach to the trade pile, as always. And we've got a couple more contracts and 200 coins. That's always nice. Always good to see the 200 coins. I think I've just recognised the kit as well. Let's turn that into the trade pile. Just take it up 150 start price and 500 bins, something like that. Well, it's got spots on it. I think that's uh, one of the kits what some people like to buy. Anyway, I move on to another kit. Bakayoko, was that? Is that the left back? It is. Bakayoko, he might be worth a bit. Um, 85 pace for a left back, so I was deemed good in this game, especially for bronze, so yeah, he might be worth a K or so. Not a bad pull. And we're halfway through there. Um, just to, in fact, I'll open this next pack and then I'll just mention something about the consumable file. Nale, or Nal. It's the next guy, he's non-rare, so anyway. Oh, we've got a silver rare contract, that's quite weird. Uh, yeah, I was just going to mention, uh, I realised that I can extend my consumable pile, somebody said it's a uh, low level. Um, I've just forgot to do it for this episode, I'll make sure at the end um, after I finish recording, I will go and do it. So for the next episode, I will have a big consumable pack, uh, a consumable list. Sorry, 
Layton is the next guy. And he's non rare as well. So I'm not going to bother with him. Um, and just one contract. Oh, what a piss poor pack that was. Nothing else to save. That happens though. You do get packs which are boring like that and get nothing on it. And you're going to make a bit of a loss. But Mioli, he's hopefully going to make it. Make up for that on the next pack. Maybe not Mioli, but Sutherland might. 80 pace for a striker. Has he got any skills? No, he's not too stare. Um, but you never know. Foundry coins uh, for the old Scottish bronze. But I'll, even the consumables from that pack will probably make me up the difference from the last pack as well. So moving swiftly on to yet another pack. And we have got Jones. Is Jones worth anything? He's a 79 pace right back. I don't know why I'm looking at skills for right back, but there you go. <laughs> We've got a couple of contracts as well. He might be worth his English bronze. He's not not bad stats for a, an English bronze. He might get me 500 coins, maybe a K. We'll have a look at him, as I say, on the database at the end. Next pack, Gartland. He doesn't like his rare, and there's no rares, but we have got a lovely squad fitness. That makes up for it, and some more. And we've got a squad morale as well, another 200 coins there. And the contract, that's uh, some nice profits there from that pack. Let's see if we can continue this, get some more. Keep this good episode going. Sutter. No, is he a silver? No, no, I thought it was uh, some other guy I was thinking of. He's not Hellas League, is he? No, a different one. I think, there was, uh, I think it was De Sutter, that one I'm thinking of. Uh, who I had in one of my squad builders last year, an informed version. Anyway, a couple of players. Oh, we have got... A couple of contracts and another squad morale. Seems to have a lot of them so far. And 40 consumables. Probably got enough space for another two packs, maybe. So here we go. Let's have a see what this one has got. Murphy. Murphy. Is he any good? I think I've had him a few times in the past. And I think he might have gone for maybe 500 coins once. I don't think on that formation he will. But you never know. I'll still list him over a day. 150 start price, 500 bin. There's plenty of consumables in that pack, which is going to make me some coins back. <laughs> and we're going to move straight on to probably the last pack, maybe. Might be able to squeeze one more in. Verratti, was that? I think that will call it the last pack. Oh, Verratti. I recognise him. He is the Paris centre mid. I'm pretty sure he was worth 50k when the game came out. I don't know his price at the moment, but that is an absolutely massive pull. Um absolutely massive pull what a whack boy to end we'll add him to the club that's going to get us lots of profits guys that should take us over 300k I'm hoping um, plus all these uh, little good bits as well <laughs> squad fitness you're normally really happy about that and that looks nothing in comparison to that guy I just hope his price is still quite high so there you go that is the episode anyway um, as always we're going to go and have a quick gander to see what we have pulled in fact the first thing we need to do is look at the players and the only one you're going to be interested in is that guy who I've just pulled, Ferrati. He has got the four star skills, and I'm hoping his price is still as high as I, I thought it was. Um, we've also got a couple of half decent other players. Baka Yogo should uh, get me a few coins. Um, some of these English guys, Graham and Jones, 442, four, might get me a KSO. You never know. As always, I'll try and save them now, uh, as I have been doing the last couple of episodes, so you guys can see them. Um, Next thing to do is to have a look in the tray pile. Don't think there's anything in there actually. Did we save anything? Oh yeah, we did. We uh, saved that kit. We've got the contract was already there from the last episode and just the one manager. Um, be lucky if I get anything for that manager, but I just like to save the rare ones just to see. And last but not least, we are going to go into the consumable pile. And from what I remember, the consumables were pretty good this week as well. Um, we got one all attribute for the squad morales, three squad fitnesses. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, one, two, three, four, five player fitnesses. That's like 1.5k there. A rare silver. Well, a couple of managers ones there, which you don't normally get. Normal uh, rare contracts, the bronze ones, and the non-rare contracts to finish off. So there you go. That has been the episode. Um, just one thing to mention. Um, I want you two guys to make a decision for me. Um, it's coming up to team of the year. I realise it's going to be around the 9th of uh, January. Uh do you want me to continue this series, or would you like me to pack binge whatever coins I've got so far to try and pull a Team of the Year player? Um, just leave your comments below, I'll try and tot them up and uh, hopefully you'll influence my decision one way or the other. Not. 
um, and I'll let you know uh, of my decision just before uh, team of the year. I'm going to have a long think about it myself first and decide whether it's worth it or not. I can always start restart this series up again uh, and make more coins. That doesn't bother me. Um, but until next time, guys, uh, please like and subscribe as always to the channel. Please check out my other videos and uh, my squad builders. Um, as always, um, I forgot what I was going to say now, but yeah, I was going to say, have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you are enjoying a good Christmas and I hope you're going to have a Happy New Year soon. Um, but until next time, guys, I have been Butters Bridge and I shall catch you guys later.